Hi guys, this week we are going to be talking about how to set up a sidechain compressor in Adobe Audition. So we said that we're going to be talking about setting up a sidechain compressor. Now, some people glaze over and get really scared at the idea of setting up sidechain. It's a little complicated, but hopefully in this video, I can show there's really nothing to be scared of. And once you grasp the idea of it, you'll be in control of your audio. And that's what this channel is all about, making you in control of your audio and just trying to show you the simple ways to set these things up once so that you've got the tools you need to make your audio sound like a pro. Now, what does a compressor and a sidechain compression do? Well, basically, it's a way of ducking. So if you've got music and you've got dialogue, it's the way that you automatically set up that the music ducks as you speak. And as you stop speaking, the music comes back up to a full volume again. Now, there are several ways that you can do that. There's now an essential sound panel within Adobe Audition. I'll be showing you that in just a short while. And that is a quick fix. It's a cheats way of doing it. It works pretty well, to be honest. It's a little aggressive and it sounds a little AI-ish, but you'll see the difference of how smooth it is when we actually set up a side chain and you put a compressor into it for yourself. So there's that method of doing it, the essential sound panel. Of course, the old fashioned way of doing it is literally drawing pens and, and dro dropping the volume, ducking the volume yourself. That's a really archaic way of doing it. And again, it won't be the same throughout. And also, of course, if you've got a big session, you're going to be drawing pen lines and dropping attenuation throughout a big multi-track session. It's going to get mighty tiresome. And there's really no need to do it. Side chaining is super, super simple once you know the way to go about it. Now, the secret to setting up a side chain compressor is that you need to find a compressor that will allow you to side chain. There's only one that's available currently within Adobe Audition natively, and that's in the Dynamics menu. I'll be showing you that in a little while, but we won't spend too long looking at it because it's, to be honest, it sounds okay, but it's not very intuitive in setting up. The five basic settings that, you, that you'd expect to find on a compressor aren't there. So yeah, it lets you sidechain. It does let you do the work, but I find it's a bit hit and miss. So we're actually going to be using a third party plugin on this tutorial from Waves my favorite plugin company. I think you saw one of the previous videos. I've got a lot of their plugins. And the one we're going to be using on this tutorial is called the SSL compressor. Super simple to use, really lovely interface. And don't forget what I'm about to show you works equally as well on PC as it does on Mac. So I think time now has come that we jump back into Adobe Audition and take a look at the SSL compressor and how you can set up sidechain compression for yourself. So here we are back inside of Adobe Audition and I'm about to show you how truly simple it is to set up side chain compression. So let's open ourselves up a new session, Command N, call this test. It is going into my downloads folder. There's no templates involved. I'm at a sample rate of 44100. The bit depth is always 32 bit float and it's a stereo session because I'm going to be using a music bed. Now, although it is a stereo session, I'm about to record a mono track, a vocal. So to insert a mono track into a session is so simple. Right click, go to tracks, add a mono track. I'm going to call it David VO. Set it to record and let's just record a quick session. Hi, this is David and I talk tech and audio every week here on YouTube. My videos go out at midday UK time. So what you need to do is subscribe, drop me a like and turn on all notifications to make sure that you don't miss any of the great videos that I've got planned coming up here on the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up side chain compression using a Waves plugin called the SSL compressor. So let's get into it. OK, so we've got ourselves a vocal session now. If you drop to the bottom of any of the track that you've got in these sessions, get that little hand symbol, you can just grab it and there you go. Just move it up. Now that's at the top of our session. Just a nice, neat way to work. Let's drag in a music bed. It's a royalty free bed, so I won't get any strikes. That's the only two tracks we actually need here now. So again, to keep a nice, tidy workstation, right click and you can go to tracks and delete empty track. So we've got a very nice clean session. Now we've got our mix track, the music track. Let's just title that music. And we've got our voiceover track. So before I get into showing you about compression and how to use a side chain, let's show you the, the workarounds. On such a simple session, what you could do here is literally draw yourself on some attenuation lines. Come on to the volume line here, click, click, drag, and that effectively would be ducking. Hi, this is David and I talk tech and audio, which on a session as simple as this technically would work. 
but obviously the more complex your sessions become, the more you need to be able to have flexibility. So let me show you the essential sound method of doing this. I'm not going to go into detail with essential sounds now. It's just something I wanted to show you. They introduced it a couple of years ago. Click on your vocal track and mark that as dialogue. You get a speech bubble. Go to your music track, mark it as music. Click on ducking and there you go. Essential sound with artificial intelligence has done you some ducking. Hi, this is David, which does work, but it's quite aggressive. And again, you're not in control and it's always good to be in control of your sessions. So I'm just clearing these audio types. So that's showing you the workarounds. Let's now show you how to actually set up a sidechain compressor. So go to music track first. Let's load in. Ah, let me also show you the one native compressor that is within Adobe that you could use, but I wouldn't recommend you use. It works. You can sidechain it, which is this button. I'll show you further in a moment. But there's no settings here. You haven't got a ratio, attack, threshold, release, none of that. So it's, although it does work, it's it's just not very easy to use. It's, it's quite lumpy. It sounds OK, but I wouldn't suggest you use that. So instead, let's go to the Waves plugin. And this isn't sponsored or it's no affiliate link. I just love Waves plugins, as you can probably see by the amount that I've got loaded here. And if we look for the SSL, there you go. And we pick out the mono compressor because it's going against my voice. The first thing you need to do is turn on this button, the sidechain input. That will now be looking to sidechain. We'll do it mono because it's going against a voice. And before we come out of here, things that you can leave set ready are the ratio four to one. You're only given three settings and I found four to one is the perfect balance for voice against music. The attack, nice and quick because you want your music to duck as soon as your voice comes in. You don't want them to be fighting. So that you can leave set. The release, Again, you've only presets here. I want quite a long, slow release. So as you stop speaking, the music comes back up gradually. So the 1.2 second is perfect. And what I think I will do before we come out of this, let me just solo the music out and we'll just play a little bit with the threshold and ratio and makeup. Just to make sure we're kind of happy with roughly where the music is sitting in our mix to start with. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that. So we know we've got it set ready for side chaining. We've got the basic settings made. So with that loaded in our effects track on the music track, what we need to do is come back to our vocal track and you need to go to this button, the sends. It all begins to make sense. Go to side chain and there you will see our compressor is waiting for us. So now this track is gonna be talking to this track. This will be the driver, how much we attenuate the Voice is going to work out how much compression is kicking in on our music track. So we're kind of set. That's pretty much it done, to be honest with you. What I'm going to do now is come into the mix of you. We'll just set this playing. Hi, this is David and I talk tech and audio. And what happens is the amount of volume on my voice is what's going to drive the compression on the music track. So let's set it playing and I'll just play with this. Hi, this is David and I talk tech and audio every week. Music is probably a bit too quiet there. Videos go out at midday UK time, so what you need to do is to bring it back up again, drop me a like, and turn on all notifications to make sure that you don't miss any of the great videos that I've got planned coming up here on the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you. You can see the compression is working. Side back chain compression. Neil losing my way here on the compression volume units. compressor, so let's get into it. And I think I can probably slightly improve that. Just by working a little Hi, bit on the makeup game, and I talk tech and audio every week here on YouTube. My videos go out at midday UK time, so what you need to do is subscribe, drop me a like, and turn on all notifications to make sure that you don't miss any of the great videos that I've got planned coming up here on the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up side chain compression using a Waves plugin called the SSL compressor. So let's get into it. There you go, music back up to full volume. And that is how you set up a side chain compressor. It really is as simple as that. So the process, again, one more time, come into music track, load in your compressor, and make sure that you've enabled it to be side chained. Do the basic settings, and then the threshold and makeup are what you kind of play around with. And that's where you get into understanding the granular effects that you want in your audio. You're now in control of how it sounds. Once you've got the compressor set, come back to the voice track. Make sure you're on the sends. In the sends, make sure that you go to the side chain and that it's looking for the side chain compressor that you have set up. And once you're in there, you can then just play around with how much volume you're using on the vocal track to drive the compressor. 
And as Hi, we saw before, Dave and I talk tech and audio every week here on YouTube. My videos Music go out a bit too quiet there. Pay time. So what you need to do a little is subscribe, bit. drop me a like, and turn on all notifications to make sure that you don't miss any of the great videos that I've got planned coming up here on the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up side chain compression using a Waves plugin called the SSL compressor. So let's get into it. Here you go. It comes back up. So there you go. There is no mystique to it. That is how to set up sidechain compression inside Adobe Audition's multi-track sessions. So there you go. It's as simple as that. You see, no reason to be scared. Go running away from sidechain compression. There's nothing scary about it. We've demissed it now in this video. You'll be able to use sidechain compression with the SSL compressor from Waves anytime you want in any of your projects. You will be in control. Your audio will sound as you want it to sound. But let me know. I'd be interested to know, have you Try using sidechain compression before? Has it sort of scared you away in the past? Hopefully now you're going to be confident enough to use it in all of your audio projects, but leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know how you're getting on with sidechain compression having watched this video. And if you've liked this video and you've got a few moments to spare, why don't you take a watch or a video that I put up a couple of weeks ago about how to set the correct loudness unit standards within Adobe Audition. It's all about luffs. You may have heard about them and hopefully if you watch the video, you will understand how to set all of your audio projects to the correct loudness standards when you're uploading them to whichever platform you are sending them out to. But don't forget, subscribe, drop me a like, and most importantly, turn on all notifications. It really helps me in the channel out and I've got loads of great videos in mind to try and help you with your audio and make your audio sound like that of a pro. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.